Hi everyone, it's Rosa and today I'm gonna share with you life-saving apps you need in Korea. So first of all, Papago, which is basically a translator, but it works better than Google Translate. I don't want to uh, say that Google Translate is not reliable. Let's just say that Papago, it's a neighbor product. So in terms of translating things from English to Korean and from Korean to English, it might be more accurate. The new ones might be better. And also it's very useful even if you're studying in Korean because when you click on a word it highlights a word and you get like kind of a dictionary meaning as well as few examples so I feel like it's good both for interacting with people and for studying Korean then we have Kakao Talk which is no surprise I mean if you ever heard something Korean you have probably heard about Kakao Talk even in dramas I guess they're using that anyway it's a chat but it's not only a chat once you register your Korean phone number to the Kakao Talk Talk account even if you already have Kakao Talk on your phone in a different country if you connect your Korean phone number you unlock new side of Kakao Talk you get a different icon down there to shop a payment section it just enables you everything that a Korean person has and Kakao Pay is a very common way to pay people even to pay friends when you're going out so you might really find it helpful on Kakao you get basically every kind of notification when you're buying online delivery information when you buy online everything goes through Kakao Talk even the official like government stuff it's everything on that app so you really want to download it not only for the chat but for everything else you will have access to once you connect your Korean phone number oh and then you can also use the taxi there is Kakao Taxi that basically works with Kakao that brings me to the next point which is Kakao Taxi it's not a built-in for the regular Kakao Talk app, but it works the same, I would say. You have to have Kakao Talk to download Kakao Taxi. It just basically a regular taxi app because they don't have uber here so i've had people telling me that they couldn't pay they didn't connect their korean card or whatever foreigner card you cannot connect it by the way you cannot use your foreigner card to your kakao pay account and your kakao taxi so anyway people have told me that they couldn't book a taxi because the only option for payment was direct payment which means that you had to have your card already registered in the kakao Kakao taxi app. I don't know, it's weird. I, I don't want to say that it's not true, but this never happened to me. If you don't have your Korean bank account connect, you can still use the app, but you cannot book every option available in terms of taxi. For example, you can only book a general request or a certain type of taxi. You can swipe the payment option and you will see pay to the driver. And you can use any card with that. Like you don't need a Korean card to make that payment. You can use any card. You have so i don't know that sounded very weird but just in case make sure you scroll down all the options you most likely can book a taxi and you do have options in terms of paying with if you don't have a korean card next is another taxi option which is i am taxi this is more expensive in general it's a couple of thousand one more which is still very cheap because we're taxi in korea are just cheap but just to say you do pay a cancellation fee if the taxi is too close and you cancel like last minute but for this reason this app is a very valuable option and will save you a lot of times especially at night time where you cannot find a taxi anywhere if you try this option it might be less difficult to get home at I don't know at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. when everyone is looking for a taxi and the options are very slim next we have some maps you can use either neighbor map or cacao map I personally use neighbor just because it's the first app that i downloaded because neighbor has the english option while kakao doesn't when i first arrived i just downloaded neighbor because of the english option and i couldn't be bothered to switch from one app to another when i already had some places bookmarked on neighbor map so it's just a personal preference everyone use both that being said i have seen a lot of foreigners just using kakao map so whatever 
you do you to actually find your apartment you might really want to download Dabang or Jigbang I already made a video on the apartment hunting quest in Korea so I'm not gonna go into many details about that but for these apps I prefer Dabang over Jigbang honestly just because of the UX design that's my personal choice they both have a desktop version I used to check them both and they usually have the same listings around not 100% the same things but you can find the same places on both apps when this was the case I usually saved my preference on Dabang just because I like it more and it was more easy to understand the information about the place were more easily organized compared to the Jigbang but I mean they're both used by Koreans and they're both legit you can use them interchangeably until you choose your place you can select your budget the kind of accommodation you're looking for and you can also select where your place is facing and if utilities are included in the rent there is a bunch of options it's very easy to browse they're just apps that you really need you don't make the deal on the app this is just for you to have enough information about the place and the agency to contact so once you meet them or just once you contact them you are going to see the places you saw on the app when you are apartment hunting easy I'm saying it's easy but it's actually very stressful not because of the apps though just because the apartment hunting quest it's always stressful in any part of the world at least the browsing part it's made easier by these apps next category I would say we have the home related stuff first thing first carrot carrot is the app where you can sell, you can buy secondhand things, furniture, makeup, skincare, even coffee like Starbucks gift card, everything and everyone is on Carrot. It's the app that is gonna save you a ton of money and it's the app that is probably gonna help you when you're moving out of Korea and when you're moving into your apartment because you can treat a lot of stuff. Even luxury, they even sell like Chanel, Bottega Veneta, like everything is on there. And it works with the localizer. You only get ads from people around your area. So yeah, that's it. You upload your listing, set a price, chat, sold. People can pay you by cash, by bank transfer, pay through the Carrot app, which is a service I didn't use. And I just want to say that bank transfer here in Korea, it's like a PayPal payment, like it's instant. It's not like a regular bank transfer. That would take few hours and people can also pay you by cacao pay instant payment you make the deal you meet the person you give the bank account information they send you the money that's it I also had occasions where I had the door pickup which is the most convenient thing ever we couldn't just agree on a time there was someone asked me if I was comfortable with moon up um, front door pickup and I was like yeah sure just pay me now and I will put the things outside my door and then I just send them the picture of my door with the items outside and I did it once I was feeling okay to asking someone else about this and they were totally cool about it don't worry no one is trying to scam you and also if they don't pay you earlier you are not putting your stuff outside so don't worry about that make sure to send the picture so everyone feels more at ease then when you want to buy something new you can can either use Honori Jeep, which has so much stuff very very beautiful and I really like that app because it also has I call it a Pinterest section because it's basically people who upload their room their home with the things they bought on Honori Jeep, and you just get inspired so you can see the things around I remember I was just browsing people places and I was like wow that's so cool anyway for the shopping part you can buy everything from big furniture like table mirrors chairs whatever to utensils forks like cutlery cups anything sometimes it's a bit pricey which brings me to another section of this video general app that you really need one of them is coupon coupon is like amazon so most likely if you find something on honorary tip for your house check on coupon first because it might be cheaper there pro tip here you can buy everything and you can also do the grocery shopping it's four thousand nine hundred dollar a month to get the fast delivery which sometimes it's so creepy that it's the same day and to get your grocery delivered at home the system is very easy you just browse add to cart done if you pay like your subscription you don't have any limit in terms of shipping so if you want to do your grocery shopping you kind of have a limit there is a section on coupon called bank fresh vegetables things that 
that might go in the refrigerator like yogurt you know this kind of stuff you have to get to it 20,000 won to get it shipped which is not much in general so it's not like it's hard to get to that point but just to say that this is how you do it when it's something that needs to go in the fridge you get a bag plastic bag to keep things frozen inside that you get some ice packs to keep everything frozen these bags are reusable so once you're done you put the bag outside again they have like a sticker with your address you remove it and you just put your bag outside and they will usually come when you order your grocery again to pick it up like they take the old bag and they leave you the new one if you are not planning to get a grocery shopping like a fresh delivery you can go on your coupon app and just request a pickup also if you already know that you are not gonna order delivery anytime soon so you just don't want to keep your bag outside your door for i don't know three weeks you can ask to get it delivered in a paper box but this is not the default option so you have to select that and i never had any issue with coupon i one of the best service ever i had things delivered i mean grocery delivered at like 4 a.m 3 a.m which it's unbelievable and the only way i know about it it's because i am a jumpy girl and i have a, i am a light sleeper so the, when i order water i would hear the boom <laughs> and i would wait, not wake up but you know well i did and i would just say ah uh -huh, that's the coupon delivery and then i would find the everything outside the next morning like in the next few hours same service as coupon we have coupon eats which is like uber eats or any uh, food delivery app other option is Hedari Minjok, which i didn't use because they don't have an english service which again it's not a problem but i deleted the app when i had a problem with uh delivery of my food it was raining so it was understandable but i had been waiting for my food for more than one hour and i just called the customer service on coupang and coupang has an english speaking customer service and they actually understand it's not something that you don't use they do understand what you're saying and they were so helpful and i was like okay maybe i need to keep the one app that has English speaking service just because these things can happen and if they do I know what to do about it so that's it then food delivery wise we have shuttle delivery which i'm pretty sure it's founded by foreigners so they do speak english but they don't have many options in terms of places and when i was living in Xinlim, there was nothing in that area but if you're living in a more popular area which i don't know where it would be where it's considered popular like Gangnam, i don't know they do have options and i tried that like twice and it was good they have so many less options compared to coupon eats they really don't use them but i never had any problem with them so if you want to try them out just download that as well then other general apps that you need is the app of your bank now depending on your bank you might want to download the app through the bank app you can pay online you can pay people you can check your account you can make bank transfer without leaving your house like you don't have to go to the bank to do that i have hana bank and there are two different apps that i needed like to feel complete with this bank so i have one app where i can send money like check my status bank transfer and blah 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 and then for online payment i needed to download another app that basically when i pay on a website different from coupon like other website it would go to the app where I just face id and verify the payment and you get back to the shopping app and proceed with your order and just in case always double check it's different from every bank and it's something that you want to pay attention to other shopping apps that i personally use are ably zigzag zigzag and olive young olive young pretty self-explanatory <laughs> skincare a bunch of stuff and whatever you find and whatever you cannot find in the olive young around so you can order online and 
either a heavy deliver at home or in-store pickup. The reason why I want you to download the Olive Young app as soon as you come to Korea, because that's when you're gonna spend more money, it's because you can actually get points. And if you get points, you'll get a discount at some point. And it's actually not that, it's not like a bajillion points that you're never gonna get any discount. They always have sales going on, both in-store, but even more, you are periodically gonna get a coupon on your profile if you signed up. So yeah, you might really want to get advantage of that. If your friends are coming to Korea, you can have them use scan your code when they buy stuff. So you get more points and they get a discount. It's a win-win situation. Ibli and ZigZag are more for clothes and accessories like fashion-wise, but they do have some beauty and other options. ZigZag, actually, it's scary. They have fast delivery and things are literally delivered the same day or the next morning. They have a stamp fast delivery or whatever where you know that you're gonna get the items pretty soon. The only problem about these two apps is that because it's like Amazon, you have to check the terms for return. Especially if you are buying something, you don't know how it's gonna look on you. Usually the return, it's very cheap. It's like 2001 or 2500 one. Is it worth it? I don't know. Just try to sell that on Kara so it would be hassle-free for you. Besides that, these apps, show stopping, never the same, so cool. And when you start browsing these apps, you will look around and see that a lot of people are using that. Because you will be like, oh, that's the bag I saved yesterday. This is how the jacket I was eyeing looks in real life. It's kind of fun, honestly, but yeah, that's how popular they are. Then every, and I mean every, coffee app everyone all of them download them even cafe you don't know if you're going don't worry just download them now i'm gonna compromise the storage on your phone so some of the one i have are compost mammoth vanapresso that's it so basically every coffee app whenever you scan your barcode you get a point every time you buy something from them and every 10 points you get a free drink usually it's a free drink sometimes it's just a free coffee so these are all cheap coffee option and by cheap i mean the average americano like the standard ice americano is 1501 for most of the apps if you buy something as a set you might get it for cheaper just because you have a profile on the app it's actually worth it especially if you drink coffee every day and you don't want to spend a lot of money these are my coffee recommendation i do recommend also the tucson place app tucson place is not cheap i mean not as cheap as these options i mentioned because the americano there is around four thousand so it's just like your average coffee in korea but i did get a lot of discount like i remember i was buying something and i got three thousand dollars like <laughs> i wish and i got three thousand one off whatever I was buying. And just because of points that I didn't know I had, because I didn't have the app, I just input my phone number. And apparently it still worked like as accumulating points and I could use them all at once. So just so you know, even if you're not going there too much, it's very easy to get a discount. So just try. This last tech section is actually more job related. In Korea, you have few apps that are very useful for your job hunting. You might have heard of People in Job and Sanamin. These are two websites that also have apps. The app is very, they're not pretty, but they're nice to have on the phone because it's quick access to the website. The desktop version, which is the mobile version, I really don't like it. So you are either on a physical laptop, like on desktop, or you better get the app. There is really not much to say. I highly suggest to make your profile on desktop because it's much, much easier to understand and go around. I don't like the UX design. I have a thing for the UX design of apps, like in general, and these are not what I like to see. Anyway, but they're useful to have. Another one is Job Korea. They are all very similar in terms of requirements. So when you're uploading your information, you usually just copy and paste in between these different websites. The reason why you want to have the app is literally for quick access. Someone is contacting you or if you have to quickly upload an information you can do it from the app and it's faster then other two very important apps that you really need in korea are financial to avoid any bank payment wise and send b i love wise i've been using wise for I don't know, ever, basically. It's just so convenient. And I used to use WISE whenever I was traveling to London because, you know, pound. It was just the most easy thing 
to use to avoid these stupidly expensive bank fees and on both apps there is an option that says send money to myself i use two different apps because wise doesn't have the one option so from wise i can send my money from my eu card like italian card to my korean card because i can send euro to one but i cannot send one to euro so for that reason i have sendbi it's literally made for people who are living in korea and they need to transfer money from one card to another and the fees are very low for wise uh, if i transfer like seven 100 euros i pay 8 euros of fees with the bank it would be like 40 euros that's crazy expensive i don't want to do charity to banks i just want to get my money so let's say that wise and sendby are the best way to keep the most amount of money in your pockets if you don't want to download any of the app i recommended just download these last two please do a favor to yourself don't pay bank and also sendby and wise like these way to transfer money really allows you not to close your bank account abroad and still be able to to get all your money in your main bank account because I know how much money I have on my card because you know you can check if I transfer like 95% of the money I pay eight let's say eight euros of fees what do I have left in my let's say Korean bank account five euros which is far less than the fees I would pay if I had made a bank transfer because a bank transfer at least the international bank international I mean outside Euro bank transfer make you pay both the sending bank and the receiving bank so it will be like 40 euros on one side and 40 euros on the other side which is it's bonkers like it, it's just crazy even just thinking about it i feel sick i feel anxiety and i, I feel like everyone was, just wants to keep their money so yeah these are my tips for you you i hope you found some of these apps useful let me know if you have any other recommendation maybe you live in korea or you've been living in korea for a long time and you know something more please share so we can help each other out i will see you soon bye